Hello, uh, my name is Javier Rayon. I'm going to show you a smile toy I've been creating uh, last day. It's a, a balsamic to alloy converter. Um, it's something I created in about four or five hours, so don't expect uh, big user interfaces and so on. But uh, it's a good sample of what is coming with alloy and the kind of tools that that will be that will be viewing in future. So. Uh, the first thing I had to do is to compile Aljoy. Uh, the app itself is done with titanium and alloy, and it's uh, it works like a like a web app. So that's what I am launching on in the browser. Okay, I have a set of tools so for other tests. But anyway, let's try the XML balsamic converter. So what I had to do first of everything is to create a mockup in balsamic so let's create some buttons right okay i can resize i'm gonna create three buttons for example um not all the components are supported but um at least the mo some of the most simple like the slider or maybe all well, the picker the switch oh for example the the map okay i think it's enough for the for this demo um i use the top left corner as reference um now the idea is just to export the mockup to xml come back to the converter paste the, ac the XML code here so let it go and the tool creates um, the alloy XML uh, and the TSS definition for styles well the problem here is that uh, if we don't define a, an ID uh, the app creates a random ID with the word view and, and a number so it's probably better to we can assign uh, an ID to each component for example Okay, so now we can export again, come back to the tool, paste again, and go. Now we have the, uh, the same control with our IDs, so the only, have the only thing I have to do is to paste in an existing project. So I have here the alloy test project. I come to the index XML file and I paste the the XML tags inside a, a window. Okay. The next thing to do is to paste the style code. All right. And that's pretty much everything I have to do. Uh, so I can test the app launching in the simulator. So as you can see, uh, all the in the styles, all the properties are automatically created. Uh, if we define some custom property for the component, uh, it's added to the style. So uh, we can we can pass some, some properties to the to the app. And here it is. It's our mockup with real uh, components working on the project. Um, not too fancy. Uh, but one of the uh, of the things that I like more of Alloy is, is the possibility to create themes. So, for example, if I had created a theme called Blue, just uh, 
specifying them in the config.json file uh, all the user interface is still a shit okay here it is so the same user interface with with a new style um, and that's pretty much all uh, right now um, the conversor supports just a, a few components such as the button the switch the map view image view um, lists are converted to table view but not with the rows uh, labels text input text area and so on uh, I'll keep adding more components it's quite easy uh, the, the biggest problem with balsamic is that it doesn't allow to nest uh, a view inside another or nest a component inside a view so it's not possible to create a complex um, hierarchies of, of components uh, what is a shame because uh, it would be great to to keep the project growing um, anyway I'm considering other mockup tools and it's, I think it's, a, it's such a good experiment to see what what can we do with with a few hours of, of funny programming. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Uh, bye bye.